the best hot sauce is the one you're gonna make after you watch this, because I'm gonna show you how to make a fermented hot sauce. For mine, I'm using Korean spicy chilies and these large sweet peppers and some scotch bonnets, but you can use any chili that are available to you. I'm also gonna add tomatoes to mine. I'll cut up the chilies and tomatoes and add them to an empty container on a scale. I'll fill up the container with water until all the chilies and tomatoes are covered and take note of the total weight of the chilies, tomatoes, and water. Then pour the water back into the bowl so I can add 2% of the total weight in salt. Mix the salt into the water, then add it back to the chilies. And then of course, fermenting isn't fermenting unless you swap out containers at least once because it won't all fit. I'm using glass fermentation weights to keep everything submerged, then closing these jars off with this little elastic band trick. I left these to ferment at room temperature for about two weeks, tasting the brine every so often. And eventually when I was happy with the taste, I strained all the brine out, but not throwing the brine away. I'll add all the solids to a blender, then blend it up smooth. Now everything from now on is dependent on your taste. I added a fresh mango, some fresh garlic, and then some of the brine to water everything down. Then I also added some of this apple cider vinegar I made at the beginning of this year, and some rice vinegar as well. And slowly over time, this was really starting to taste pretty good to me, so I'll bottle it. And the rest of the brine can be kept as well as the start of forever ferments, or as a spicy substitute for pickle brine for pickleback shots.